Hey community, my name is Jansen, and today I'm gonna to show you how to upload your own custom audio to Prime. Let's take a look. So here I am in my Finder window on my Mac, and I have a song with all the stems inside. And I'm just gonna select them all, compress them into a new zip file. As soon as the zip file is done, we're gonna use this file to upload on the website. Now that the file is done, we're gonna head over to loopcommunity.com. On the home page, you can click on the upload button in the top right corner. And you'll have two options, upload to Prime Cloud or upload to Cell. So we wanna click on upload to Prime Cloud. And from here, the screen uh, to choose the zip file you wanna upload and fill in your track information will be available. So if you click choose zip, you can just quickly choose the file that we zipped up. And as it's loading, go ahead and fill in the track information. So you're gonna name your upload. The name of the song is Glory Known. The artist is Jansen Roberts. The BPM is 75. The time signature is 44. And the key is in B flat. It's important to note that as, as soon as this bar is finished loading at 100%, you'll see a green check mark, and then you can go from waiting to submit to go on to the next step. So now that the song is fully uploaded, you can see the green check mark. You're gonna go ahead and click Submit, and it'll take you to step two, which is a process of naming your files. On step two, you can just quickly select the drop-down menu to match the name of the stem, going all the way down through your song list. And once all of your stems are selected from the drop-down menus, you can click Submit to go to step three. During step three, this process can take a little bit, so you might want to run, grab some coffee, come back. When your upload is finished, you'll get a nice image on the screen telling you that it's completed, and you can go to the iPad or your iOS device or Prime for Mac to see the custom audio. Inside of Prime, you can click on Add Song and scroll through your list of songs to find the one that you just uploaded. It will begin downloading, and in just a moment, you'll be able to enjoy your song right in Prime. Once your song finishes downloading in Prime, you'll be able to change the uh, volume levels, you'll be able to change the master volume level, the click and cues, and you can even add section markers to loop or jump on the fly. By clicking Edit Song and Edit Markers, it will pull up a list of all the downbeats in the song. You can zoom into this by clicking the plus button and then double clicking on any section to add whatever section of the song corresponds. Once all your custom section markers are in place, you can hit save, and it will save that arrangement of the song for future uses in Prime. And just like that, you can enjoy your own custom uploads inside of Prime. You can rearrange the songs, use them in whatever services or live performance setting that you want. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.